Hello again, everybody. Another message from YouTube. I just watched your Golden Child video. I don't know if this will make sense to you, but thanks for helping me see that my, re my reactions to the abuse I have gone through is normal. For so long, my rage and anger have been attributed to a character defect on my part instead of being validated as justified. My brother Michael was the golden child too. He grew up, a, he grew into a full-fledged narcissist and married a narcissist, then gave life to two more. Recently, my husband asked me why I get sad around the time of his death because he was so cruel. It's because I grieve for the relationship we never had. All I ever wanted from him was from, for, he, for him to love me and respect me. Instead, he abused me severely, and if I screamed, I was abused again by my mother. She convinced my father that I asked for it, that I picked on him. He was twice my size. I was far too terrified to ever deliberately provoke him. I finally went no contact on him and his family after he made a phone call to my house and told my daughter, 15 years old, in detail, the sex acts he wanted to do with her. I completely lost my shit. He, he called her a liar and said I was jealous and trying to ruin him. Then he threatened to kill my entire family. See, the narcissist thinks they're entitled to whatever they want, including your children, however they want it. Sexually, financially, it doesn't matter. And then you're always going to be the liar. And then when you really corner them, they get violent. And then they start making threats of violence and death. My mother sided with her precious and called my daughter a liar. My father did what he was told to do. He accused me of being argumentative and blamed it on sibling rival rivalry. Sib sibling rivalry. Wanting to wanting to bang wanting to bang his own 15-year-old niece comes down to sibling rivalry. Do you understand these narcissists will do and say anything to protect the lie, to protect the golden child, to protect the bullshit? After two years of no contact, he called me begging to be a part of my life. I allowed it as long as boundaries were never breached. Uh, that's a mistake. That was a mistake. Any Anybody who would want to have sex with his own niece and then you let him back into your life, Okay, but that's not your, really your fault. That is because that's how you have been trained and bred to think. Okay, that somehow you must always be wrong and, and nobody's going to believe you and you just want things to be normal and they never, ever are. That's what a narcissistic abuse will do to you. It'll let you put your own children into danger and bring, bring somebody like this back into your life. My kids wanted no part of rekindling a relationship, and I agreed with them and supported their choice. I am certain if he had lived, he would have gone right back to his old abusive self. Oh, you can count on that. His wife now rem remarried, and I are at odds. I know contacted her will never agree to any sort of relationship. She has gone, she's gone about now with the help of her sons to ruin my name and is attempting to turn everyone against me with lies and other rubbish. I wish I had your courage to just lay it all out. Maybe one day. I hope you heal. You seem like a really good guy. Keep making videos. Yeah. Um. You, she did you a favor. Like, why would you want any of these people in your life? And I said this over and over and over again. Anybody who's going to listen to their bullshit and believe them, you don't need any in your life anyway. Anybody who's going to listen to that shit and take their word for it and not ask you like, hey, your sister-in-law said this and that, like, what's going on? If they're just going to take their word for it, who cares? Who cares? It doesn't appear you've lost anything other than the danger of having your kids sexually assaulted and having your mind twisted and turned and made to feel like you're garbage. What have you lost? You haven't lost anything by going no contact and calling these people out. And if you, if your if your ex uh, sister in law had anything had anything go, why is she out smearing you then? Why, if if you're the problem, then she should just be happy that you're out of her life as well. 
But no, that's not how the narcissist works. They don't want you going around with the truth, okay, and burying them with it because that's what they would do, okay? If they actually had a truth to tell, they would be telling it instead of all of these lies because that's what they would do. You just want them out and you want it done and over with, okay? But in their mind, if if they're thinking, well, if roles were reversed and if I was her and she was me, I would be out telling everybody what the hell I did. So now she has to go out and try to turn these people against you and build her own narrative. That's all she's doing. The narcissist, by talking about you behind your back, is proving your truth with their lies. Because why do it? They're doing it in order to hide the truth. So don't worry about it. Don't acknowledge it. Anybody they're telling it to that believes them isn't worth your time anyway. So you should thank, so you know what, in, in your mind you should say thank you. Thank you for showing me who and what you really are. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps some other people because I know a lot of you go through the same, been going through the same thing. Thank you for watching. Again, if you enjoy this channel, please consider making a contribution to my GoFundMe in the description box. And remember, if you do make a, description, uh, a contribution and you want your story read, your story goes right to the top of the list and I immediately make a video for you. Thanks again for watching. This is Ollie Matthews. I'll be seeing you all again real soon.